In this video, we're going to demonstrate how a configurable product is ordered in clear work and then sent through the variant configuration within SAP. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I've navigated to sales and sales orders. I'm going to create a new sales order. So I click create. I select my customer from the last few customers I've dealt with. Um, I'll type in my purchase order number. Select a ship to location. And then right here, I'm going to click add configurable item. So what that's going to do is pop up this little window where I select from my list of products um, a configurable option. So I select MacBook Pro. Behind the scenes, it's going to go fetch the image associated with that material within SAP and then the first set of options that I need to select. So I'm going to make sure that I, I first enter these required fields. So the plant that it's shipping from, the quantity, and then the unit of measure uh, associated with this material. Now that I have that in, I can select um, some of the base options for this computer. So the first option is the screen size. So I select 13 inches, click Next. Based on 13 inches, it went to SAP and retrieved the types of processors that are valid for that size laptop. Um, so from here, I'm just going to select the basic uh, processor. Um, the next option that would appear is the memory. Um, and again, based on the previous options I've selected, it went to SAP and said, tell me the next available options for memory associated with this laptop. Um, so again, I'll just leave this at eight gigabytes. And the final option would be the storage associated with the MacBook Pro. Um, so in this case, I'm gonna say, you know what, let's do one terabyte instead of 512 gigabytes. Um, so I save that product. And this image could actually appear on the main page as well. So one of the beauties of this platform is the layout of this pop-up and the layout of the main page are completely configurable, and you can determine how you want this to work, but there's no code involved at all. That's the beauty of a, a no-code platform. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Um, it's got all of my information here. Send it to SAP, and you'll note that it says it's a configurable product. If I wanted to go take a look at that in SAP, I'd click on this hyperlink. And this will actually navigate into the SAP GUI. And we see we have our customer and our product here. If I double click on it and then click on the configuration, we should see all of the items we just selected there. So again, for the first three options, we didn't actually select anything. We went with the first option. Um, and then on the storage, we selected a different option of one terabyte solid state hard drive. Um, so that's essentially how you would make it very simple for a customer service rep or even a customer in an external facing portal um, to be able to enter a configurable product uh, and have it flow back into SAP.